This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Windows PowerShell was first released with version 1 back in 2006, and now we're up to version 3. So it's been around for a little while, and it was really designed so that we could administer our desktop or multiple desktops or multiple servers all from the command line or through automation with scripts. Now we used to, and still do for that matter, have other tools to do this as well. We used to use the command prompt for many, many years, and also things like VB script. That would allow us to write scripts to do more complex jobs. Well, PowerShell kind of combines those two. We can run anything we used to run from the command prompt from the PowerShell console, and we can also create some pretty advanced scripts with things like loops, if-then statements, things that were very difficult to do with batch files. But PowerShell kind of went a step further with something called commandlets. And these are basically little programs that are built into PowerShell that we can run to administer our machine. Commandlets can be written by Microsoft, or they can be written by other third-party developers. We can even write our own commandlets. An example of a commandlet is something like get-process. So before with VBScript, to do something like that, to get all these processes, would we'd probably have to loop through uh, you know, some object and then uh, use WScript echo to echo it out to the console. But now with PowerShell, we just have one simple command that we can type in and get the information. And there are literally thousands of commandlets we can use. Now we still can use the old command prompt if we'd like. If I go to start, just type in CMD, there's our command prompt. We can use this if we'd like, but again, we can actually run any command that would work in a command prompt from our PowerShell console. So not only can we use PowerShell, we can use our old command line uh, commands and instructions. And we can also still use VBScript, but really going forward, this is kind of the future of administration for Microsoft. A lot of the management tools, uh, like things like the Managing Exchange, all those tools are actually built on top of PowerShell. So it actually runs PowerShell commands underneath the covers. So knowing PowerShell and learning PowerShell can actually help us out day to day and help us automate a lot of tasks we might be doing manually with a GUI interface. There are also some things that we have to use PowerShell for that we cannot use a GUI interface for. So learning PowerShell is very important and, again, can help us out with Microsoft operating systems going forward. And in this training, we're going to specifically go over version 3 of PowerShell.